I just got the idea of doing like a what's in my trash bag. Okay, I'm going to Walmart first because I forgot I need some cleaning supplies. Hey guys, I was not expecting this to be like a Walmart haul video, but that's what it is right now. Okay, so let me show you what's in the hallway, okay? So, okay, hi. I wanna do this quickly, so I'm probably not gonna talk very much through it. I'm gonna put these away and then put everything back on the counter. Hi, this is Katie. I finally brought the toilet paper inside. Are you proud of me? Um, so right now, I'm literally just hanging out in a Publix parking lot. And I bought these at Publix, the Unreal Dark Chocolate Coconut Bars. Even on my new diet, I think I'm gonna allow these because they're coconut cassava syrup. That's the only like iffy thing because it's a root vegetable and I'm decreasing the amount of vegetables that I'm eating, but I'm still allowing myself to eat potatoes. I feel like I just said that so fast. I'm still allowing myself to eat potatoes. So like cassava might be okay. Anyway, and then um, just dark chocolate, which is just chocolate liqueur, cane sugar, cocoa butter, and vanilla. And uh, I think I'm allowing these on my new diet, but at least right this second, this is my third one. They're tiny, but my third one, they're very good. And this is like the only chocolate at Publix that I can eat that's dairy-free and gluten-free and all that stuff. So anyway. <laughs> Why does it take me so long to chew? I've been here for like 20 minutes. Coconut, that's why coconut's hard to chew. Not like hard to chew, but it just takes a while, you know? Anyway, I have not been in the best mood today. I've been really anxious for no reason. And so I'm like, okay, Katie, get out of the house. Get out of the house, go do anything. And so I had something to return and then I went to Publix to use the restroom. And then I was like, I kind of want candy. And then honestly, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit in my car for a half hour. Kind of go back to like old school Katie when I would just hang out in my car a lot. I mean, I still do that sometimes, but I used to do it all the time. And so I just kind of wanted to hang out in my car a little bit right now. And I figured I'll just start this vlog here and say, hi, I'm probably gonna tidy up my car a little bit because it was kind of a mess. This is not gonna be a car cleaning video though. I already have a garbage bag going. That's half LaCroix. Mm. I just got the idea of doing like a what's in my trash bag. To be fair, some makeup and skincare people will talk about like their empties, which is really just their trash. What's in my trash bag? LaCroix number one, LaCroix number two. Is that it? Oh, LaCroix number three, LaCroix number four, different flavor. The thing of oil, empty thing of oil for my car and these gluten-free sugar cones that I brought in the car to eat the last one while I was driving the other day and it was really stale like really stale so that's in here that's what's in my trash why do cars have to be so loud oh the car number five and then the car number six but this has a few steps left and then that was from like yesterday look for number seven this is from today these are from the past like week, probably. Seriously, it's so loud. Maybe I'll go to like a park or something and hang out. Yeah, let's go drive to a park or something. It's 63 and cloudy. I can go sit outside for a minute, but I just really wanna hang out in my car. I know, here's the thing. I spent years living in my car, years sleeping in my car, and then years like going on road trips, driving around the country, you know? Most of the time I lived in my car, I was driving around the country and exploring and traveling. And so I've spent a lot of time hanging out in my car, but I think people who even haven't lived in their car, I think that some people do just like hanging out in your car. Is that you? Let me know in the comments if you sometimes just wanna sit in the car. And I love my car. My car's like my home. Like I wanna have it forever. Don't come at me. I'm gonna have this car forever. I'm gonna figure out a way to do it. Cause in my head, if I just keep replacing all the inside parts, I'm just saying, I didn't even finish that sentence, but I'm just saying, all right, cool. I'm gonna go to a park. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm going to Walmart first. Cause I forgot I need some cleaning supplies.
Hey guys, I was not expecting this to be like a Walmart haul video, but that's what it is right now. Okay, so I, very long story short, after I realized that I was having an allergic reaction and that's why my eyes were getting really puffy and itchy and all that stuff. Again, I explained this in several of my last videos, but I don't know what I'm allergic to. It could be just something in Florida in the air. It could be a food that I was eating, even though I've never had a reaction like this before with anything, let alone with food. And what I think it is, is maybe partially those things, especially maybe just Florida in general. But what I think it is, sorry, the air is probably loud, is something that I was using, like a product, like a hair product or a skincare item or something like that. And so since it's starting to heal, I want to take like extra precaution and basically make sure that my house is totally, totally clean just in case whatever I'm allergic to is still kind of roaming around somewhere in my house. I did stop using a bunch of hair care products and stuff like that, but just in case something is still in my house, I wanted to do like a deeper clean. And so I started to do that this morning. I'm on like my third or fourth load of laundry. I'm kind of deep cleaning my bathroom, but I just wanted to get a couple more products that we just either didn't have or I ran out of or whatever. And so I started with a Swiffer because we just don't have a dry Swiffer. We have like a, what is it called? Not a mop, a broom. And we have a like wet jet Swiffer, but we don't have a dry one. And so I just got the Walmart brand because they didn't even have the regular like Swiffer brand of the regular one. They have like the pet one and the extra large one, but not the regular one. And so I just figured I'd get the great value one, the Walmart brand, it's cheaper anyway. It's like 11.44 or something. And it comes with seven of the dry cloths. I probably won't use the wet ones because one other thing that I forgot to mention was within all of this with my allergic reaction and whatever, I want to start kind of slow slowly-ish transitioning to using more natural products, products with no fragrance, and just like cleaner products. A lot of my skincare and stuff already is on the cleaner side, but I really want to switch as much as I possibly can with hair care, skincare, makeup, and cleaning products to just more clean, no fragrance, no like unnecessary harsh chemicals. You know, I want to get as hypoallergenic as I possibly can, which does not mean that I definitely won't be allergic, but it will just decrease the likelihood and regardless, I've always liked the idea of using cleaner products. And so I'm just starting to like slowly transition to that. And so I probably wouldn't use the wet cloths on here because that probably has some chemicals that I probably wouldn't want, but the dry cloths are probably fine. And then just really quickly gonna go through everything else that I got. I got some gloves, rubber gloves. I got Ecos Plant Powered All-Purpose Cleaner that has parsley in it, I guess. And it does not have synthetic fragrance or chlorine or phthalates or I don't know, a bunch of stuff. Here's the thing. I will probably get a whole new like cleaning set online, but at least in Walmart, this was just like the cleanest one that they had. And so I just figured that I would pick this up while I was there. But within this little journey, of you know using cleaner products i'm probably going to order some of the stuff online because honestly a lot of the stuff in the store that even says that it's clean still has artificial fragrance or something like that and so i just again want to get as clean as possible and this was the cleanest as possible in walmart but in a few weeks or whatever i might start looking online this is just a restock i've been using this for a very long time the seventh generation dish soap i like the free and clear one because again i don't really like added fragrances anyway in my cleaning supplies so got the free and clear that one and then i got a scrub mommy. I guess the difference between a scrub daddy and a scrub mommy is that the scrub daddy is just the scrubby part and the mommy also has a sponge. I think that that's what's happening with this. Um, but I like this because you can clean your spoons in the mouth. So anyway, got that. I also got one of these, a little soap dispensing brush because I got new pans recently. And if you watch those videos from a couple months ago and I got those new pans, I was so excited. I was so excited because my old pans were just starting to bother me. They weren't cooking properly. Everything was sticking, you know? And when I got the new pans, they were not sticking. Everything was great. But I've been literally just using them for like two-ish months, three months, and food is already starting to stick. And so literally like right now, I cannot get the eggs off of my pan. And so I figured I'll just get this to scrub it with. And then I got a Scotch-Brite Swift Scrub. It's a bathroom buildup remover. I thought that this would be handy because there's some stuff on the bottom of my tub that I just cannot remove. And so I figured this might be helpful. And then the sun is starting to 
Anyway, I'm almost done. I also got the Scrub Daddy Damp Duster. I saw someone use this on Instagram recently and I was like, that's a genius idea because especially I'm thinking on like baseboards and stuff, sometimes that dust just wants to stay there. And so I figured you just kind of like get this little damp and it should clean that up. So I got that. And then I just got some more soap. I like this Dial antibacterial like sensitive hypoallergenic one also says gluten-free on the back, which makes me very excited, especially if I'm washing my hands and then eating. I like that. And then the last thing that I got is not cleaning stuff. Uh, I got these little face scrubbers, like silicone. They're pretty gentle little face scrubbers just for like, I have some texture on my face that honestly, I used to have texture and then it went away and then it came back. And I don't know if it's because of whatever caused my allergic reaction also got like down here and caused some texture. I don't know, regardless, I just wanted to get one of these. I'm specifically gonna use this one. This one I guess is for massaging that I'll try. I don't know, but anyway, this is all that I got. I think the total was $47 or so. And yeah, again, I am gonna look online. There's already a brand or two that I was thinking of trying to just replace like all of my cleaning supplies. But at least for now, that's what I got. So I'm gonna go home. I don't have time to go to a park now, it's four o'clock. I have to go home and cook dinner because the last video you saw was me making dinner and I have to go film that now. So I have to go home now, so I don't get to go to a park. So uh, I'm going to go home and film. And then yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, honestly. Okay, here's the thing. I really should have, should have just taken you throughout my cleaning day today, but I was just so anxious this morning. I'm like, I don't wanna be on camera right now. I just wanna get this cleaning done. But the cleaning right now is only about a third done. I took everything out of my bathroom and put it on the floor in the hallway. I just left it on the floor because again, I wanted to get all this kind of stuff to finish cleaning the bathroom. Yeah, so right now I'm kind of like in the middle of cleaning my bathroom. And so maybe I'll show you the rest of that, maybe. The only things I have left to do are cleaning the floor and cleaning the tub. I already cleaned my sink and I already cleaned my toilet. And so just need to do the floor with this and then like spray it and wipe it. And then I might not even have time to do the tub today. I might do that tomorrow too, regardless. I need to do the floor and I need to put everything back on the sink. I'm gonna go now. Now I'm just talking for no reason. I'm gonna go, I love you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so this is what my bathroom looks like right now. So I got more toilet paper, the Swiffer I just put up here. This is the door handle, cause it broke off. This is my eye cream for my uh, dermatitis. And then I just washed all my hair brushes and a bunch of my hair clips because again, those might have something that I was allergic to on it, like some leave-in products or something. So I washed all those, some Q-tips out. I have some Castile soap out. <laughs> and then I just uh, unpacked some of that stuff. And then some of my other cleaning products are on the floor and then a bunch of garbage. So yeah, I think I'm going to, well, like put all this away, obviously, hello. So I'm going to put this away. And then I'm going to put everything back. I'll probably get my real camera in here while I'm doing this. I just need to put these under the sink or possibly in the other room. I don't know if they're gonna fit in here. And then put those away. And then let me show you what's in the hallway, okay? So this, <laughs> okay. So this was everything that was on my sink that I obviously uh, put on the floor so that I could clean my sink. And then, <laughs> There's a bunch of laundry that I have to do. <laughs> All of my towels are in there. Some jeans, obviously, and then uh, some like little blankets and stuff. So I'm gonna go get my big camera and set that up. I'm going to finish this really quickly before I make dinner. So I'm just gonna do this now. Okay, hi. I wanna do this quickly, so I'm probably not gonna talk very much through it. I'm gonna put these away and then put everything back on the counter. These aren't fully dry yet, so I am just gonna leave that there for now. I did clean the counter before, by the way.
This is just a little travel Q-tip holder, but then I just like to buy a big thing of Q-tips and refill it. But at Walmart, I could not find where the Q-tips were because that's all I have left. I could not find where the Q-tips are, but I'll get them next time I go to Target or something. Okay, but now let's go over here. That's all like scrunchies and hair ties and stuff. And in this bin is these little wristbands that I wear when I wash my face and some headbands and then like a little washcloth on top. This is the new hair serum that I got that I just tried today for the first time and it's really nice. So I'm gonna put that in with my hair stuff over here. Okay, this is still a mess, okay. This I'm gonna put in the shower. Well, I'm gonna like wash them first and then I'm gonna put that in the shower. I'm just gonna put this and this with the rest of my cleaning supplies. I always keep these boxes for a little while just in case. Here is what my sink looks like. And I'll just put these away when they're dry. Okay, potentially a weird angle, but I just want to show you that I'm gonna Swiffer. Can I call it Swiffering if it's the Walmart brand? I'm gonna anyway, um, but I just put this together really quickly. I'm just gonna use one of the dry cloths. I'm gonna take my watch off. Just gonna use one of the dry cloths and then I'm going to spray the floor and wipe it. And I took out the trash. And I cleaned the toilet earlier. And like I said, I cleaned the countertops and stuff earlier too. So the only thing I have left to do in the next couple of days is do the tub. I know you can't see back here, but. Okay, so that's looking good. And then what I'm gonna do is take this Method Anti-Back bathroom cleaner, which again, I probably want to replace at some point because the scent in here, I actually don't even know if it's natural or artificial scent, but regardless, I probably will end up replacing this at some point. But anyway, I'm gonna spray the floor with this, let it sit for a few minutes to like disinfect. And then I'm going to take one of these microfiber towels, wet it a little bit, and then I'm gonna see if it fits on here. <laughs> this is like a weird angle that I'm showing you things, but I'm gonna see if it fits on here and then I can like, you know, mop kind of, but I'm just gonna spray this first and let it sit. I don't know about you, but anytime I'm gonna be spraying something in the bathroom or cleaning my toilet or something like that, I put my toilet paper in a cabinet because if I'm spraying something, wouldn't it get on the toilet paper? And I don't like that. So toilet paper going in the cabinet. spray my scale too why not okay so I'm going to get out of the bathroom let that sit for five minutes ten minutes and then wipe it down okay so while I was waiting I just swiffered the hallway too I'm just going to get this cloth a little damp and let's see if it fits on the swiffer if it doesn't I will just use the cloth with my hands but let's see if it fits like I wonder if it'll stick in here I'm balancing it on my shoulder. Oh yeah, it sticks. All right, cool. I mean, it's not like the best, but it sticks in there. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, the bathtub I'm gonna do later and also using this damp duster, I'm gonna do that later as well. I really am excited to see if that works like 
in the corners, like on the baseboards, like over there and stuff. But at least for now, the floor is clean. Okay, I don't know what this video was, but I still appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Um, I really just do like talking to you and hanging out with you guys throughout my day. And so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if you like proper cleaning videos, because I can do like a deep cleaning my bathroom video and like vacuuming my bedroom and all that kind of stuff in some future videos, like over the next week or two, because I know this video was like a, uh, I just put stuff back in my bathroom. <laughs> and I bought some cleaning supplies. But if you actually wanna see me use them, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you like vlogs like this, I really hope that you're subscribed to my channel. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.